little short video. Um, these are recent arrivals for me. These are pure Oscar de Vrent <laughs> racing homers. Uh, blue bar pied. This bird's a little bit penciled. And these were sent to me by Jerry Hallman in Goldendale, Washington. Has probably really some of the best of rents in the country. He's got what he calls his, his golden pair, which is a uh, bird he calls Jerry. And the last one he calls them. And they are the taut breeding pair of DeVrents in the country. Uh, and these are uh, pretty much all descendants of uh, Jerry and the last one and a bird they called uh, chima a ah, which is a one loft uh, winner, different hen that Jerry added to his bloodline. So I bought uh, one, uh, 9171, at auction. Got a really good price on her, uh, this younger one here. And Jerry was kind enough to actually send me the uh, sibling which I think is a cock, this guy, a uh, full brother sister, off a pair of, from a cock that's off of uh, Jerry and Chima, and I think a Chima daughter is what they're off of. So that is uh, pure Oscar DeVrent blood as there is. Obviously Oscar DeVrent's been gone for a, a really long time. But uh, this is a pure line of old, old school DeVrents. Um, and I'm a big fan of DeVrent pigeons. I had a, a good friend back in the 80s and 90s uh, when I was younger. Uh, grew up around him and his father had a really good line of DeVrent birds going back to the 60s and 70s. And they were super, super tough pigeons. Um, didn't matter what the weather was, didn't matter what the flying conditions were, you could have smash races, they would come home. So needless to say, when I started getting an interest in racing, I wanted uh, I wanted uh, a line of DeVrents. I looked around quite a bit and actually found them, you know, pretty hard to find. That there's not a lot of pure DeVrents out there, there's a lot of pigeons out there that people call DeVrents, but not very many that are really that pure, you know, they've been crossed into Jansons and whatnot, and I found that... Uh, uh, Jerry Hallman has had a, a good pure line since the, about 1972. Um, they were off of Canadian imports. And uh, needless to say, I've been getting a lot of birds off of him to start racing. I've got a pretty good core of DeVrents going. Uh, he was kind enough here the other day. Um, I bought a lot of hens, and he was kind enough here the other day to give me a really good deal on a line bred cockbird that I'm anxious to use him. And they are super tough pigeons. They will come through in just about any conditions. You know, smash races, bad weather. Um, he's got an AU Hall of Fame hen, or I think she's deceased now, been gone for a while, that he called Night Flight. Uh, she trapped in in the middle of the night during a race and was the only day bird trapped in at night. So they'll fly, uh, they'll fly home in the dark if they have to. Um, and pretty much come over a lot of adversity. Uh, most of them that he has are blue bars, and he says the pretty much the more line bred and inbred you get them, he says not only do they perform better and better, the more you work with them uh, inbreeding and line breeding, also the more white they turn. So these uh, two guys here, they're pretty line bred. They got a lot of white on them. I've got a nice splash cock, which was one of the earlier ones he sent me. That's uh, pretty heavy splashed. And they've been uh, difficult pigeons to get a hold of. Um, you know, you see them every now and then on auction, then he'll every every now and then auction one off, and there's a pretty good fight goes on for it. Um, you know, definitely the sort of pigeons you're going to pay five or $600 a bird. Um, and they are super nice racing pigeons. So this is uh, one of the three families that we're working with. I'm working with the Pure Oscar DeVant line and a Clossing Huben line, um, mostly down from uh, David Clossing's 410 and Zico, his foundation cock, and then I have a family of Black Widow birds. So, very anxious to breed some of these DeVrents up and start racing them and uh, 
see how they do well. So I will catch you next time.